But no matter how much rain we get, it won't do much to dampen the fire danger once the hills start to dry out this summer. When you think of Bay Area hotspots, the Oakland Hills and the deadly firestorm of 1991 immediately come to mind. But there are new concerns tonight on the other side of those hills. KPX 5's Katie Nielsen joins us live from Orinda with the plan to cut the fire danger there. Katie? Yeah, Marina, we are here in downtown Orinda, and this is only a few miles south of a newly proposed fire break. Now, if you take a look at this map created by the San Francisco Chronicle, you can see where that proposed fire break starts over by San Pablo Dam Road. It then runs east on the north side of Highway 24 and stretches all the way out until Pleasant Hill Road in Lafayette. Now, emergency managers say it is necessary to keep these hillside communities safe. It starts way out on San Pablo Ridge here, and it comes all the way through here to Inspiration Point, and then down Wildcat Canyon Road, and then down La the Lafayette Ridge area all the way to Pleasant Hill Road. Moraga Arenda Fires Emergency Preparedness Coordinator Dennis Rain is talking about the fire break the department wants to build along the north side of Highway 24. So we're trying to protect residential areas from a large mega fire, if you will, coming out of the north, being blown by those high winds into residential areas. The department submitted the proposal for the 14 mile long, 200 to 500 foot wide fire break to Cal Fire. It was ranked number nine out of 35 critical fire prevention projects statewide. If it's approved for state funding, the fire break would protect 30 East Bay communities and more than half a million people. Everybody thinks that, oh, well, that will never happen here. But now that we've had some bad history of fires here in California, people are starting to, to look at the facts that, well, it could happen here. It's dangerous. I know it is. Always wonder when is it our time. Hopefully never. Residents in these hillside towns say they do see similarities to the community of Paradise an area that was devastated last year by the fast-moving campfire, which killed 85 people. Both communities have an older population living in a heavily forested area with limited evacuation routes. Yeah, in this area, there's really only two roads in and out, Moraga Road and Moraga Way. It backs up a lot, so if there was something like, you know, real serious, it'd be pretty tough to get through it. No one wants to cut down trees. It's beautiful to live around here, um, but I think it's a necessity if we want to try to prevent uh, those disasters. Like what happened to the poor folks of Paradise uh, could happen elsewhere in California. The plan for the fire break does not include any clear cutting of trees. What they are hoping to do is just remove dead trees, trim the lower branches from the remaining trees, and then clear out any underbrush or growth on the forest floors. Now, most of this land where they're proposing this fire break is actually owned by either East Bay Mud or the East Bay Regional Parks. So the idea is to actually have the National Guard or some of the inmate fire crews come in and do all of that brush clearing. Maria? Katie, do you know how much the plan would cost? And also, when will the department find out about the state funding to pay for it? Yeah, so right now the estimates are anywhere from two to five million dollars and everyone's hoping that they're going to hear something back from Cal Fire and the governor's office within the next couple of months so that they can get started on this work before fire season begins in earnest this summer. All right. Thanks, Katie.